So I wanted to just do a quick little video to show you guys the PC builds calculator, bottleneck calculator, which I honestly believe back in the day in like 2014, it was proper, it was right. Now I believe it doesn't actually show proper specs. Uh, based on mathematical sense, every PC has a bottleneck, but they seem to make you make you feel like your PC isn't going to perform properly and you need to go out and buy a brand new processor and blah 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 blah. But I'm going to show you that it is, it is a, it's a sham. So let's look at a 1080. Let's put a GTX 1080 into my computer. We don't even need to touch the RAM or anything. You can just go calculate. I don't even know why they put that there. So 8.48. So it's proper. Let's just see what happens if we actually change the RAM. Five five eight four zero. Let's do four eight one SSD. Yes, it needs a GPU. Ten eighty. Ten eighty. Calculate. So yeah, using RAM is irrelevant for this completely, and an SSD. So, 8.48. So, let's just remember that. Let's do a new calculation. Let's do Intel. Let's do the i5. 8,400. 8,400. Just do the NVIDIA card. My new graphics card that I'm ordering, that should be here on Tuesday. And we'll just do a calculate. And it says it's going to bottleneck. 12.09 so we'll say yeah 12 percent and then it tells me i need to buy a new processor look at all these new ones that just came out that are super expensive that they're trying to jam down people's throats to buy and uh, now if we go over to the user benchmark we can see that the 2060 the one that i ordered and the 1080 well desired card scores higher it's 12% stronger. 17 peak performance overclocked. And it gets higher FPS on average on certain games. CSGO, big time. Grand Theft Auto, quite decent. So we can just tell from looking at this that they're absolutely full of crap. They are trying to sell, sell better stuff. So now we can look at the new Intel i5-9400F. Make sure we're on F. Yep. What's this one scoring at? Okay. Uh, that's an Intel i3 9100F. 8089. Well, look at this one. It's 3% stronger across the board. It's weird that the value for this is 40, even though it's a much more expensive card. If you didn't earn the GPU, or ugh, CPU, words. If you don't have a graphic, or if you don't have a processor yet, I would just buy the cheaper one. It is much better, even though it doesn't have internal uh, graphics, which kind of blows. But anyways, so my theory is it's going to say that it will work with the other processor. So it says that this processor is too weak, but three percent difference, I guarantee you it's going to drop down. I just know it will because they're full of crap. So let's do it. Intel. Let's do. The i5, 9400F. <sighs> Do the NVIDIA 20 series, 2060. And we don't need to touch the RAM. And calculate. Do, 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 do. Seven, your processor will work. That math doesn't add up. The extra one decimal point that this, this CPU pumps out is only worth 3% extra performance, which doesn't have mathematical sense of why it went from 12 down to seven. Ugh. So we're down five points from three. I, it's full of crap. Don't believe the bottleneck calculator. The best way to tell if you're getting bottleneck is test your PC, like do an actual specs and we'll tell you what's slowing it down. And the actual thing to do if you use like user benchmark that doesn't seem to lie 
and they don't have advertising posted all over the place. They have this one up top. This one. There's two. Three. Three. One, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven, eight. Yeah, it's full of crap. Just don't believe it. 